Welcome to Real Steve TV. I'll be your host, Steve. And let's uh, jump right into the action on my uh, Orc Male Rogue Hunter. He's getting old. It's on my Rogue, dude. Or Ma Rogue Hunter? Get a grip. Oh, d dude, I'm disappeared, dude. Details, dude. Okay. Let me change the audio. Options. Audio. USB sound card. What's this? Kweski can show you the location of phase one runes for your class. Rune locations are... Yes, show runes. Whoa. Dude. Okay, it's not that big a deal, but it's kind of cool. What's what? There's a rune right here. Level 25 quest. All right. Let's just cut the BS, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to get into a I would like to run Warsong Gold. Or no. <laughs> Dude, I'm out of it. Wailing Caverns. I am... Dude. I want to go for a secondary mace. So, as you can see, I have... What's this mace called? Stinging Viper. Blue item. 15.5 damage per second. Chance on hit. Poison target for 7 nature damage every 3 seconds for 15 seconds um yes I would enjoy having that dude if I had dual wielding that aesthetically I'd love it um but that would be I'd be banging so let's try to find a group That's, it is what it is if it does what it does it is what it is it did what it did, is, uh, is what it was Archmagus in within the house. I'm so thankful that you are streaming right now. Laugh out loud. Had some teeth pulled today, so I'm just chilling on the couch, resting and healing. Stoked to see Warsong Gulch and Classic. I've never seen it. Oh, I messed up. He's getting old, Ark. I meant to say Wailing Caverns. My bad. I want to get... I want a dual wield. I have the Stinging Viper Mace, which is a blue item. And it's just my personality. I want to match and have both of them. Because my rogue, though a far cry, you know, from my hunter, I just want to work on my rogue. Still stoked. I love WC. Yeah, right? It's not about, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? It's not about the content. It's about the people. And Archmagus is here. And he'll forever have a special place in my heart. I've said this before. I'll say it again. He's one of the first strangers to follow me and support me and so all uh it just means a lot to me so i'm as equally stoked when archmagus is in the chat as much as i may comfort you i feel the same way arc when i see your name pop up um and of course i love first time chatters obviously it means someone new is checking me out i love that but you never know who you're gonna get you know so i'm like more nervous with first time chatters i'm like are they chill are they not you never know oh infirmum speaking of yesterday's first time chatter infirmum infirmum's our second time chat uh, chatter now um yes sir rogue leveling gonna try to find a wc oh there's one right now looking for three more dps wc there we go i want to shot at getting this uh, second mace so I can inflict some double time blunt force trauma ladies and gentlemen um real quick yeah Inferma meet arc arc meet Inferma I want to pray real quick actually for us father god I just want to lift up me and my viewers watching right now Archmagus and Infirmum. lord I just pray for your will in our lives I pray that you give us the strength and courage to fight life to the best of our ability. Thank you for everything we have, Lord. Thank you for the ups and downs, God. 
Life is bigger than our happiness, and uh, may we seek you now, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hello, I'm also living my rogue. Oh, cool, we're rogue. We're rogue brothers. Oh, and then this is good to know, guys. I don't know if you saw, but um, tomorrow sod servers will be down from uh, nine a no 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 seven a.m. to three p.m. Pacific time. So mo all all day, you know what I mean. So that's a bummer. So guys, we're coming down to the wire. That really only leaves us today and tomorrow night and the next day. You know what I mean? We're coming down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. What? Right down through the wire. Even through the wire. Na, na, na. Infirm, I'm, I'm Alliance right now. That's awesome. Um, some of my first videos from Season of Discovery are talking about factions. I actually love both factions, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I love both factions equally. Now... That's unfair to say. If someone held a gun to my head and you had to pick a faction because they were going to kill you otherwise, or if by some reason you could only play one faction, dude, I would play Alliance. Um, Archmagus, amen to the prayer earlier. Implementing phase two. Woo! Yep, for the, exactly right. They've got to do maintenance. We're getting ready for a big day, people. Be careful. That guy's name is Yeshua Christ, guys. Also. Should I whisper him and ask if he's making fun or if he's for real? I'll wait towards the end of the run. Let's not start controversy yet. That's an interesting name to pick. He, that guy's name is Yeshua Christ, dude. And he's an undead. I'm intrigued. I, I want to know this guy's story. As a Christian, I guess I had never picked that name, obviously, anything, because I'm like, that's like blasphemous, Lord. But you never know. He's like, no, I'm a Christian, and like, I love Jesus so much, I named my character that. I don't know. Infirmum, the first video I saw of you was debating choosing between <laughs> Night Elf vs. Dwarf Hunter. You helped me decide on... Yes, dude! See, guys, we're just helping... These are the hard-hitting issues that you're not going to get from the big-name streamers. It's a big deal if you're like, am I going to roll a Night Elf Hunter or am I going to roll a Dwarf Hunter, dude? For me, the... the <laughs> you guys know the story. I ended up having to go horde because of this server. You had the external monologue I was having internally. <laughs> See, dude, we us players go through, and only WoW players would understand this, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine what our fa friends and family who don't play think of. They're like, what are you doing in there all day on your computer? Uh, life and death. What are you guys doing? Making lunch? You know what I mean? I'm at the crossroads of my tune's life in here, dude. I'm putting my life on the line out here every day in Azeroth, dude. And what? Are you going to work? Are you going to work at the office? <laughs> and firm them, the funniest thing when I checked your YouTube and you had the Orc Hunter LM. Dude, I love that story from your point of view because as the content creator on my end, you know, I'm like, I never know what... I never know who's going to see what, how much of what, how it's going to affect them or not or what. But I could just imagine as the viewer, you're like, man, this guy talked a lot about, you know, he's going to roll Alliance Hunter. You log in the next day. You're like, he's an arc. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you're like, what happened? He, this guy changed factions, dude. You guys, it's the drama of this game. So, Archmagus, I found the show right after that and popped into the stream when Steve had to roll Horde. Asked me to, are we really doing this? Are we really, dude? So, yeah, Archmagus was there with me live. We were streaming live. Archmagus was in the chat with me. We waited about an hour and a half, two hours to get into this server. Only to find... <laughs> 
only to find that we had to roll whore, dude. And I don't know if you can see it in the video because I tried to play it off, but I'm I'm having in that moment an internal crisis because I am so bummed out because my mind was set on alliance that as I'm seeing all that, I'm just like, oh no, I did not plan for this. And Archmagus, blame it on Archmagus. I was like, Arc, what are we doing? Like, what do we do? What do I do? What do we do? Arc's like, we, we're rolling this, son. And I rolled Orc Hunter, and I never looked back. Mm -mm. Not this season. Like, um, Cat is a far way away still. Who knows where my life will be by then, you know? But if everything goes as planned and I'm still streaming during Cata, I'm going Alliance for sure. I want to make a worgen. That's just it. When I was a little boy, I loved werewolves. And I loved vampires, and I like, dude, in kindergarten I thought I was like a vampire. But I always liked vampires and werewolves, and I'm like, Worgen is like the closest adult me can get, you know? Archmagus laugh out loud. Asmin gold crashed the Alliance side for like two days after that too. Right, dude? And then they come and then they just leave. You know what I mean? It's like lame. Asmund Gold comes for what a week or two to get his content and then bounce and then just leaves his guild an empty shell of who they were No, I'm just kidding. I don't know Pivotal moments. Yes, Ark. These are See this is another thing I didn't anticipate by doing this but like even in the last 90 days of doing this there are memories that I'll cherish now for the rest of my life about how this all panned out and played out. Even if I were to quit doing this tomorrow and stop doing this as a, a hobby and pursuing it to where hopefully I can get monetized, blah, blah, blah. Like, if I stopped tomorrow, I would have memories from these last three months that are, like, I love and I cherish, you know? It's so cool. And I didn't even think that going into this. Archmagus, yup, that's legit, lol. Infirmum, I'm actually watching Twilight right now because I never saw it. My favorite part is when someone's about to die, then the vampire uses their vampire juice to res them. Then watch it while grinding. Uses their vampire juice? What's that? So I haven't seen Twilight in a minute. I, and I wasn't... I'm like, I think I'm neutral on Twilight. I don't like hate it maybe as much as like other 42 year old men my age would. And I don't love it uh, the way a 14 year old high school girl would either. Um, I'm in the middle of those two. I'm not hating. I'm not loving it, but I would watch that series again. I prefer vampires 100%. Like, I think ultimately in a fight, vampires would win, but I think style-wise, I'm, I'm leaning more towards werewolf. Were werewolves are tight. Plus, I like the idea of, like, the full moon takes over, so if you, like, go on a massacre, you can always wake up the next day and be like, what? I don't... What happened? Oh, like, it's pretty much like drinking when you drink too much, right? And you black out drunk, you wake up the next day and they're like, dude, do you remember what you did last night? And you're like, no, what? Va uh, werewolves have a way out. Imagine a werewolf drinking on a full moon. Oh, wow. That's a comedy sketch right there. Archmagus, I know you gotta do what you gotta do, but I truly hope there isn't a day where you decide to not do the show again. I really appreciate your spiritual wisdom in the show itself. Your experiences with the game are really fun to be part of and listen to. Thanks, man. That, again, that means so much to me, bro. And, like, I don't want to quit. Um, but like you said, you know, I got to do what I got to do. I just... Now that I get older, I, uh... What, what's the... What, how am I trying to say this? Like, when I was younger, I used to be like, this is how it's going to be and this is what's going to happen. And now that I'm older and I've experienced so much, I'm like, dude, you can plan for the best of your abilities and do the best you can, but many, many times life does not quote-unquote pan out or shake out the way 
you would want it to, you know? And, like, being more just open to, like, you know, it might not go down the way you want. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying not to plan or to have hopes and dreams and goals. I'm not saying that. But being ready to, like, go with the flow, you know? I've been too rigid my whole life. And ironically, that's a much more freeing way to live. Dude, like, right? A drunk werewolf? That would be a funny, like, short video or film. Like, a, and, and he gets drunk on a full moon, like, the worst combo possible. Oops. Did I pull- Did I pull that? Archmage's life takes us where we need to be, and if that means streaming is in it or not, I just gotta support those personal decisions. I'm with you in spirit in whichever direction you choose, brother. I appreciate it, brother. And there's like, you know, at this point I have a handful of people I've met through this, like... I don't anticipate like I would ever just truly disappear without like sending you a message, you know, arc and letting you know I'm at or like let's stay in contact even if I were to stop streaming. But the good news is I don't plan on stopping streaming anytime soon. Um, and then if you've been watching my videos, you know, this morning I just submitted that video for that contest that Andrew Callahan is having for Channel 5 News. Um, and I just spent the last four or five days intensely working on that. Um, the last two days I pretty much have been editing all day. And that's been... That was hard, you know? Whoa, this is rough. Dude, this is not... Good. What is happening? Oh, that's his pet. Archmages, I'd love that. I still need to get in on your Discord. And yeah, editing is tough. It's like three to six hours for ten minutes of content from one and a half hours of footage. Yeah, right? Though I've been having fun making YouTube shorts on my Archmages channel, lol. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cool. And how's that been going for you on your end? And I still need to check. I want to check it out. I haven't checked it out yet. That's my bad. I've been just so... Not in the best of ways. I get way too focused on myself, man. And I want to support other people in your creation and check it out what's your what's your channel that is awesome Mark but are you enjoying it it's been really nice I've got like 5.7k views on this one short I'll see oh wow really dang dude that's really good That's awesome. Dude, congratulations, bro. That's a lot of views for, like, being newer to it, too, to get that. It blew my mind. When did that one, like, when did you upload that one? That's sick. Ooh, that's a big old critty. Let's get critical, critical, I wanna get... Okay, cool, I'll check that out. 
Dude, that's exciting. That's like inspiring, right? To get so many views. Dude, so I, um, I'm running WC, obviously, to level up, to just get experience. I would like to hit level 25 before Season 2. Um, and then I want to try to get this second mace, so that's kind of the goals for this stream, if you will. That'd be so sick to get a d another mace. Orc Mages, sorry I don't usually like posting links in others' chats. No way, dude, it's cool. It's all good. Don't feel, like, bad or... Like you're trying to steal the spotlight. I don't see it that way at all. You've like supported me so much. Like, dude, let's we're, let's get that video to six thousand people. So those of you in the chat, obviously, go check that out. And I'm gonna check it out after this. I want to give it my full, undivided attention. So after I run WC, I'll take a break and look at it. One hand. What? Oh no, it's not that great. That one's still better. But yeah, I mean, as you guys know, I've been playing my hunter like crazy this whole season and made this rogue about a week or two ago. And I've, I'm really settled in to these are my two main classes that I'll play. Um, and I'm loving the change up just with this different style of play. Because, you know, you start getting burnt out on doing the same old. Um, and I still love Hunter. I, I really, 19 years later, and I'm like, I could pretty much say these are my two favorite classes. So far, Mage would probably be my third favorite class but um, that's the focus for phase two my hunter and my rogue here's the actual short itself I linked the channel in the first one sorry no that's okay and OBS is the only way to go have you tried the have you tried twitch's software because actually I just lazy and I'm like oh I don't want to try a new thing but I really want to check their software out aesthetically it looks like better but it might not be better I really don't like Twitch's native streaming software. If that's the Twitch Studio stuff. Because, like, I mean, I haven't used either one, but I'll, I was just impressed that OPS, o OBS seemed to just be so... Dude, I, had to, I have, hadn't had to do much. It was all plug, plug and play or plug and stream, pretty much, which is good for me because I struggle with technology sometimes straight up. Or paint shield, dude. Yeah. And yeah. Let's see. When I hit level 22, I can equip these toughened leather gloves. Too, so that's sweetie stuff.
getting a little scary. Dude, we pulled too much, huh? Pulled much? Yeah. scared a uh, little here they come here they come oh there's one from behind that wasn't chill or cool of that guy oh no went the wrong way that's not chill of me oh yes they went to cut me off like they knew OBS is hands down the best experience. Twitch Studio is a terrible UI. OBS is also the standard that, oh wow, that everyone's using. Streams Labs is different. It's more nuances and specific. Yeah, I guess I was like, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As far as OBS goes for me, you know, I'm like, ah, this is working. And I've been really busy. And I'm still waiting, so... My, uh, I ordered a handful of equipment. Oh, well, nothing crazy. I, o I ordered a, uh, a decent little audio mixer because I want to upgrade my audio. Shout out to LeafWet. And then, like, a more traditional mic, streamer mic with the whole crane, the, uh, the crane arm, and then, like, you know, you know the kind that every streamer has. Um, and nothing crazy either. It was only, like, a hundred bucks for the mic and maybe, like, 20 bucks for the crane or 30 bucks for the crane so like 130 bucks upgrade for that and then the audio mixer was only like 100 bucks um, and then just a few little doodads so I spent about uh, I think like about 300 on Amazon for all the stuff just to give myself a slight upgrade to audio and make my life easier and make the audio a little better which I'm stoked on but I'm a little worried it should have been in the mail last week it should have come by now and it hasn't so that's got me a little oh a little an anxious but what can I do if it got lost or stolen it got lost or stolen what can I do except call Amazon and say, hey, I think it got lost or stolen. But let's pray it comes soon. Oh, wow, PreSonus. I think that's what I got, too. Yeah, I got a PreSonus, too. I bought a USB mix. Sorry, uh, Archimagus. I bought a USB mixer and a mic for 300 plus the mic stand. PreSonus Audio Box 96. How funny. I bought pretty much the same stuff and the same price dope we are leveling up we're leveling up as streamers ladies and gentlemen which I'll be stoked for like having that mic to easily manipulate will be awesome and to be right up like in my face opposed to the I just have like a crappy mic right now. Archmage is nice, it's pretty good. It's not the best, but it sounds really great. I bought mine for music production like three years ago and never looked back. Cool. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, I'm balling on a budget here. I would love to go out and get the nicest of everything, but as we know, that's thousands and thousands of dollars. So, what just whatever I can get away with investing like moderately or as little as I can but also giving me an upgrade is that's where I'm at right now so we'll see
Archmage is totally me too. It would be nice to be rich. But it's all good. And I, I firmly believe this about art. Like when you... Whatever your art is or whatever you're making. If you have like the crappier stuff. It's really a great way to train yourself as an artist or a content creator. Because you have to like push yourself more. Um, and actually, I, in the in the long run, I think that's better for creators and artists. You know, and if one day you can finally afford the best stuff, awesome. But as far as the training grounds goes, like, if you can create something good, what is happening? If you can create something good with minimal tools, just that's better. Dude, what is happening up in here? Well, and I'm asleep. And he's sleeping. And he's sleep. Dude, the sleep is terrible. Oh, dude, why are they pulling so crazy? This is wild, dude. Archmages, that was like six seconds sleep holy. Dude, I think it was longer. That spell's long. I think it's like nine or twelve. And I hate it. And I always get it because I'm melee on this. It never happens on my hunter, but it happens left and right on my rogue. And that's partly my bad. I need to be interrupting that spell because rogues have their kick. They have kick and gouge. So I have two interrupts. My bad. Huh. My reaction's a little slow, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to need to get good at that on my rogue, because that's one of our specialties, and people expect it of you. I mean, like in ba Black Fathom Depths, you have to do it on Lord Twilight Calris. I'm not even paying attention to what these guys are saying in chat. My bad. Focus the tanks, target. Yep, it usually goes that way. Yeah. Rogues are dangerous, lol. I'm a mage by trade, so technically when you are playing rogue, we are mortal enemies. Yeah, right? That's a fun um, duel. I mean, a mage is vulnerable because of their cloth. You know, so a rogue can be real potentially devastating to a rogue could be potentially really devastating to a mage because of that factor. We're all melee, and then the mage is cloth wearer, so that can be gnarly. But if you're a good mage, right, and know all your tons of spells that mages have, as any mage, good mage would, you can like manipulate, and control the situation. Archmages. Yeah, it's so funny you say that. Like, when I've played Rogue, mages are the easiest to kill on my Rogue. Um, unless you meet a really good mage. And they, they've got all those tricks up their sleeve to, like I say, to keep you at distance, freeze you, blink away. If, if, the, if the mage knows what he's doing, they can be really hard to get within melee range. So, but... Once a rogue does get in melee range, it can be real spooky. It's cool. It's like a giant game of paper, rock, scissors, you know? There's always a class that you're like, oh, right on. I love to fight them. And there's always a class that you're like, oh, no. I don't want to fight them.
beef it up. Dude, look at that. That's four, 15 seconds sleep. Dude, duh. That's insane. Dude, uh. It's a long time in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, they're like, focus on what the tank. Dude, again. They're like, focus on what the tank's focusing on, but like, he's pulling way too big. And then he's like, having to get aggro, so he's not like, on one target. I don't think he's the most experienced. Do I think he's the most experienced tank? Don't. I, wow, we survived that. Well, Nar Narandalo didn't, dude. Come on, Narin, Narin, dude. Yeah, but I just found out before I started streaming that Sod will be down for the majority of the day. So I'm actually glad that I'm uh, playing right now. Because of this whole documentary that I've done, it's knocked my schedule uh, out of sorts. And so I've been streaming a lot more in the day the last few weeks than I ever have. I usually stream at night, um, but I'm really glad I logged on because that window is closing. And I'm not gonna, I don't, I'm not gonna have enough time to, like, what, what do I gotta do? Uh, I'm not gonna have enough time to get this guy to level 25, and then also have all my quest log filled up with completed quests, man. Um, I'm running out of time, and that bums me out. Archmagus, when I was really into PvP and Shadowlands, I was insanely fast. Then there was a ton of class changes for Dragonflight, and I got nerfed into the dust, and I mostly stopped doing PvP. Oh, that's that's a bummer. In any tune's life. It's that's dude, getting nerfed is just for obvious reasons, no fun. have spare water I sold sold my stack before coming in <laughs> uh, do I indeed I don't Dude, um, I don't want to say anything. It's because it's not that big a deal, but I'm like, dude, ch you gotta p pull better. How do you say, hey, how do you say it nicely? Uh, could you, excuse me, could you like pull better, sir? that guy doing? I'm all bugged. 
Dude, these kids, dude. What's today? Monday? Should you guys be at school? No, it's already afternoon. They're like, no, we were at school all day. Never mind. You're right where you should be. Don't you guys have homework? Okay, let the adults play for a little bit, guys. Archmages, I just forward slash Y slow down. Is that a command? Forward slash Y slow down? What's that do? I don't know. Is that like a command to him? Is it like honking in traffic? It's like, hey, beep, beep. But like, obviously that means speed up. But you know what I mean. It's a gentle reminder. Hey, take it easy, guy. Oh, it's to yell. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Guys! That was so scary! Did you see that? That was a glitch! That was crazy! I like, uh... What did I do? My spell. The... What is it? Shadow Strike. I like Shadow Striked into this wall right here. And Did you see how it was like the sky? That was scary. That was crazy. I got scared. I'm not gonna lie. I was terrified. I was like, I beat the game. Finally. I did it. I broke the dimension of time, space, and Azeroth. You yell, slow down at him, lol. Right? That's... <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Right to the point. I feel like if I was the pooler here, I'd be using my gun a lot more, or my ranged, you know, because this, this, this tunnel can be tricky because there's a lot of patrols in here, and then the way they position these guys can be tricky a little bit. It can get real gnarly up in here. Dude, being, I love rogues, though. They are so dope. I love them. They are pimp. I, I promised myself I was going to stop saying pimp. That's dumb. I joked about this in a last live stream, but... First of all, I would never want to be like a pimp in any way, shape, or form. First, for the record. It's just funny how that term became like culturally popular as a way to describe something that's good or cool pimp no I wouldn't want to be like that and then like I said in their fashion sense I don't think so dude can a hunter tank and sod mm, I don't think so not really remember rogues can now and I'm wondering though if next phase with the runes that we're getting I wonder if they will be... Do you know what? I mean, I don't know. Like, one of the big things about Hunters now is there's a rune where they do more damage if their pet is dismissed. I'm a dork, dude. I haven't even got that rune yet. Two agility? I'm sure I have better gloves than that. Yeah. Yeah, I need my runes too, Archmages. Like, you know, I just took the internet's advice and found what are the best runes in slot for my build, whatever. And 
as soon as I got the three that they're saying are the best, I, like, checked out, honestly. I mean, I did okay. I think I have nine runes out of twelve. On my hunter, that is. See, this, right, this is the... I said K. Rigid cape with the falcon. What do I have? Two agility. What's this? Two agility, two intellect. Nah. Nah. I don't need that. It's just fun to win something new, but do I need it? No, I do not, ladies and gentlemen. Do I want it? Not really. Wait, Valentine's Day stuff is happening right now. I need to try to get the that X45 love rocket mount in um, retail. Where's that at? And when is when is it? Valentine's Day is the 16th, ladies and gentlemen. Yikes. Well, I already have the leggings of the fang, so that's the good part about right here. I don't need, I don't need it to drop for me, and I'm not rolling on it. So awesome! I have my prince pants, dude. Actually, look at—I have the boots, the bracers. What do I have? Oh, no, I have the glove, the pants, the boots. I look like Prince. Little red Corvette. <laughs> Archmages, I'm going to do it in retail, but I'm sure you could do it in Wrath. Yeah, okay. And V-Day is... Yeah, you're right. I think V-Day is the 14th. What do we know? What do I know? I'm just a man. Oh, yeah. Shoot at me. Yeah, try to put me to sleep. Nice try, guy. That felt good. I interrupted it for, at the right time for once. That thing drops more often than not the robe of the, the what is it? Moccasin robe, robe of the moccasin. I'ma say I'm a sam a watch you sa. I'ma say I'm a sam a robe of the makusa. I'ma say I'm a sam a makusa. Michael Jackson? Anybody? <laughs> robe of the moccasin. I'm a saying I'm a sound the robot the Marcus sound. I'm a saying I'm a sound the Marcus sound. What are they saying in that lyric, you know? I'm a saying I'm a sound of my two sound. This priest's a maniac. He doesn't care who gets her out here. Guys, let's hope I get the second stinging viper. Do uh, Archmages, break it down, Steve. Begin breakdancing. I would, dude. There's not enough room right here in my room. I'm a Sam. I'm a Sam Makusa. I'm gonna pop, lock, and drop it. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> hmm. 
the same. I'm the Sam the Robo the Makusa. <laughs> That's funny. These little low-level mobs, these little sweeties. I'm the same, I'm a sign the robot, the Marcus song. So I guess since tomorrow, WoW's gonna be down in the day, most of the day. Tomorrow's an editing day for the old Steve. I gotta get back to uploading to my channel. I've had to like, uh, that's had to take a back seat to that documentary that I submitted this morning. So I'm so stoked for that, to get that like done and just hope something good comes from it. I guess I'll play Subnautica on Tuesdays, LOL. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's usually only an hour though, but like you said, in preparation for phase two, that's why it's going down for so long. You know it is. We're getting ready for the the big uh, content, new content release. I already own those. Dude, is this, we're getting towards the boss that drops. Wait, did we just kill him? Or are we, what are we doing? We're getting... Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm bad with the uh, remembering stuff in games. Um... Not heal, ma'am. Do not heal. Cool. I did interrupts at the right time. Wow, I'm growing up so fast. Archmagus, I don't play many other games anymore. I locked into my two favorites the last couple of years and I've been quite content. Haha. -ha. Same. I'm really, I'm just really enjoying classic WoW, you know. Um, I will say though, I had to take my grandma to the doctor's like last week or the week before and uh, busted out my Switch and played uh, Super Mario Wonderland, the newest Mario dude. I loved it. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I loved it, dude. The way they designed it. Like, as an artist, just the colors in it are awesome. Um, but the gameplay is really fun, dude. They, like... Dude, it's like Mario on acid, kind of. It's just, like, wild and crazy colors, and the levels go by really fast. It's just, like... And they're, like, you know how that game is. You get a million lives. It's not really about hardcore playing. It's more fun. Though, to try to get every star and every... Uh, like get the top of the flag at the end of the level like to actually get everything in that game does take hardcore gaming some of that stuff is hard but man dude I hadn't played Mario in a minute and that Mario Brothers is the first video game that I played and owned going back to the regular NES dude so that's company that system is what started it all for me and I'll always love Nintendo man just their, their the tightness on the quality of product they've made all these years you know and I am surprised that they uh, like on their online store where you can buy games I'm actually shocked that they pretty much let every 
dumb, idiotic developer in there, like, sell their games. Like, there's games on there for, like, 30 cents and stuff, and you can just tell. Some of them are just the lowest budget quality games, and I'm like, I don't like that, Nintendo. Don't do that. You guys aren't. You know what I mean? You were, you're not about that life. Unless you wouldn't be proud to, like, have it on your platform. Don't. Don't. I don't like that. Well, what's this? No. All sorts of belts. What is this? A belt sh storm? Did we already pass the boss that drops the stinging viper? I don't think we have. But th everything blends together on this level. Even like... There's three bosses that I'm like... They all are like the same... Drew to the Fang nerds. I mean, the giant creeper moss you can't miss, obviously, and then the dinosaur's different, but like three of the bosses are just Drew to the Fang people. I just don't remember by heart who's who. Please let me get the second stinging viper, guys. guys all carefully. That's not a boss. No. True to the fang. True to the fang. Archimages, I agree, when it comes to that crappy quality games that you can buy on Nintendo Online or their online store on the Switch, dude, that's whack. And it's just, dude, all these corporations, when it just, dude, that's how we've lost our way as a world, as a nation. It's just, it's all, it's all become about money. And what did Jesus say in the Bible? The love of money. He doesn't say money. He says the love of money is the root of all evil. So, again, having your proper relationship with money, the Lord knows we need money to survive. But when you love money more than God, that's the pro therein is the problem. And I'm I'm and I don't mean this bragging or anything, it's just my personality how I've always been. From a young age, I've always hated money. Even when I was little, I could already see the game that money was. And I just always, like, hated money. And I, I, I know some people who would straight up admit they love money, you know? And I get it. I get it, dude. Money buys you things. You can have nice things. Uh, you need money. But to love it... It's just, it's just straight up, it's not, it's not right. Um, and that's, again, that's quoting Jesus. And sometimes I think, well, what does money really ultimately represent? In today's modern society, too, it basically represents power. You know, if you have a lot of money, you're powerful. You can do, you have power in this world. Is 
Sanguine Cape. Sanguine Cape. Cape's up. Man, this is the world's longest instance, isn't it? Did I pull that? Steve Urkel. Real Steve Urkel. Did I pull that? That's funny. What is that? Mace. Ooh. Main hand. Ooh. What's this? 11.1? 10.9 plus 6 attack power. Should I need on this? Huh. 6 attack power? I don't think they'll mind. Let's I'm going to check it out. Let's check it out. This that might that might have been not the best idea. And then this is my offhand. Let's just, you know what? Let's bang. Archmage just left out loud. Real Steve Urkel, that's gold. <laughs> Let's check out. Dude, I'm dual macing it. Let's see if I notice. In my capabilities here. Oh, and I forgot. Ooh, I don't have what I need. Let's see if I do. I gotta make it. Dude, I forgot to make stuff to sharpen my weapons. And I don't have much stuff for my maces, because I'm not used to rocking maces as a rogue. But, this is Season of Discovery, dude. We're checking out all sorts of new stuff. In, in these parts. Well, you guys know I'm into stab at tone music, and when I'm rocking two maces, we be clubbing. So it all fits the dance theme. Jealousy! 49 to 66 damage when I do that. Oh, I can't. Oops. We be clubbing. I want that other mace, dude. Double poisoned up. Poisoned up! I can't carry any more. Inventory is full, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Drop a few things just to make some room. Ma, ma, ma.
Passed halfway to level 22. That's great. I hope I win that. I think it's on this. This the what is it? The, yeah, it is on here. That dinosaur boss drops a good cape for at agility user. Oh, that guy died. We be clubbing. See, I'm doing 43 to 60 damage in this, that setup. 43 to 60, 61 to 89. It's not even a question with that setup. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. I need that other blue mace, dude. And we'll be clubbing. I'm going to take a quick bio break. Be right back. And he's back. Notice the uh, Jurassic Park reference on this guy's pet. He named his raptor Clever Girl. Right? The, the scientist, I forget his name, the old guy, he calls the raptors of uh, the raptor a clever girl in Jurassic Park. What are we waiting for? What are we doing? What are, what's going on? Oh, he was walking back to homeboy. Oh, and homeboy pulled. Uh, homeboy pulled. He be pulling.
dude. Let me win the cape. This uh, this actually has a great cape. Great cape. The glowing lizard scale, whatever. I'm going to get the cape, and I'm going to get the other mace. That's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a stab festival up in here. No, I, you know what? It's actually not. Like I said, it's Weeby Clubbing. Yup, it dropped. Yup. I need that. Greed. Wisperio need. Oh, three needers. Oh, I didn't get it. Dang it. That's another reason I need to keep running this dungeon, though, is for that item also. That's a good cape, man. Shoot. I wish I would have got it and been done with it. Oh, well. There's going to be so much new stuff. Phase 2. It's not really that big a deal. That's what's kind of nice. On the eve... What, we're on the eve of the eve of the eve of Phase 2. Uh, Archmage saw oh man, I know. Dude, that cape's really good. It's plus six agility. That's a good one. But I'll just keep running WC up till about level 24. I'll get it. I've gotten it every other time on all my other tunes, pretty much. So, actually, on my, both my hunters, I got it right away. still think we still have a shot at the second mace. Um, though I'm going to lose two points of agility if I do that. I don't know if that's going to be better. But it's a lot It's a lot of DPS on the maces. 15.5 in both hands. That I'll be clubbing. Oh. Archmages, phase two is going to be lit. So when I was a high school teacher to bug my students, I would always say, that's going to, that, or I would always say, that's lighted. Instead of lit, to bug them. They hated that. And I loved it. I'd be like, man, that's lighted. Like I purposely say their slang wrong. And it would bug them so much. Why am I fighting that guy? I don't know. Guys, I'm not thinking. Oh, Zombie Adam is in the house. Who's excited for phase two? I am, sir. Welcome, Zombie. Haven't chatted with you in a while, dude. Thanks for coming by. We, Me and Ark are excited. 
I assume you are as well. And did you see that for most of the day tomorrow, uh, Season of Discovery will be under maintenance? Or the servers will be under maintenance till 3 Pacific time? I'm sure you already saw that. So, we're, we're running out of daylight, folks. The sun is setting on season, phase one season of Discovery. Yeah, right? Eight hour maintenance is rough, right? So I just found that out before this stream about an hour ago. And I'm just glad that I'm on now. I really I need to get this guy, this rogue, my tune to level 25 before phase two. Just to be ready to go on him. And I'm, I'm not going to have enough time to get all my quest log filled with completed quests on my Hunter main. I, I probably really should focus on doing that. That's more important. To have 20 quests ready to turn in on my main. Priorities. We might have already got the boss that drops this blue mace, which sucks because I didn't really get anything. I didn't get the cape that I'd really want from here and the second, a second mace. Zombie Adam, I'll be honest, haven't played a lot of WoW recently, but I'm also really trying to get my guild to farm dungeons with me right when phase two hits. Nice. I don't think we got them all, but I'm not going to be able to finish if we didn't. This is taking longer than expected. Dude, I'm... It's... Yeah, it's a long dungeon. Dude, I'm so tired of... Pe this is the second player that's had a, like, attitude about how long it takes. I just, it's insane. Like, it's Wailing, you know what Wailing Caverns is, right? It's huge. The girl called him. Shoot, I'm excited too. <laughs> and she doesn't even play, ladies and gentlemen. The girl called him is here. We're just chilling. Archmagus was here. I don't know if he dropped or left. But... Ark's been in the house. It works out perfect. Zombie Adam slides in right as Ark leaves. Cause see again, I it's saying two viewers right now, so I'll go. Dude, I got that guy. Dude, and then he he I'm not gonna keep I'm not gonna get in a fight with the dude. So I don't know if you caught that, the girl. Oh, Ar Archmagus is still here. See, there's three people watching, and it only shows uh, two viewers for me. So I get confused. Ah! <laughs> Archmagus with the Valentine's humor in the chat. Arc said... He's still here. I'm, I'm still here. I'm grinding Valentine's stuff, LOL. It's the most wonderful time of the year and what night time. Dude, I want to say something sarcastic, guys, so bad. Oh, why, why, why am I about to die? Because we're all dying. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. In the, coming from the guy who dies the most, this is so funny how this game works out. It's like, well, yeah, dude.
I'm uh, dead. Zombie Adam. Imagine thinking Wailing Caverns isn't cavernous, right? Guys, it's I shouldn't even give energy to it, but I can't help it. Like that guy's like, I'm gonna have to leave. This is taking longer than what did he say, dude? No, oh, it's gone. See, it's gone. Doesn't matter. But this is, it's funny how the, this game is. It's the second exact same pattern as a few nights ago when I ran this with my friend Nizza. Same thing. It's so funny too now that I'm putting it all together. In that run, the guy who was healing terrible, the priest, how funny. And it's the priest in this group that's complaining. The priest in this group keeps dying every sec, every other pool. So that, you know, of course. Well, none of us are dying right off the bat and every time, but okay. I've died twice on this run. That is bad, I guess, but the priest has died like four times on this run. So that's twice as bad. J the girl called him, just say it. It's real Steve TV. No, I don't want to be mean. It's Dark Moon Fair, Love is in the Air, and Lunar New Year Celebration all firing off at once. New. We're firing on all syllables, ladies and gentlemen. Crystalia. That's a Crystalia joke. He says firing on all syllables. <laughs> but both groups, the priest is the one complaining. The priest makes a little snide comment, this is taking too long. Then I said, well, yeah, it's Wailing Caverns. It's a long instance. And he goes, he spells it out. He says, E-H. He goes, eh. No, this group is just taking longer than usual. And then I... I didn't do it, guys, but this would have been a good one. I wanted to say, yeah, you'll get faster. Oh, and then on top of it, the girl called M and Zombie. His name is Yeshua Christ. That's his character's name. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Right? That would have been, dude. That would have been a great burn, Archmages. The girl called him. Eee! Like, I mean, so... The girl called him is a Christian. I'm a Christian. I forget, Zombie Adam, your stance. And I'm pretty sure, Ark, you're a Christian. But, like, just... I pr would never name a character Jesus Christ or Yeshua Christ for obvious reasons. Um, to me, I'm like, dude, I wouldn't want to bring the name of the Lord down to naming one of my characters in WoW after the name above all names. You know, the Bible says Jesus Christ is the name above all names. And, I mean, ultimately, it's a heart issue. I could also see someone who loves the Lord naming their character that as maybe a way to witness to other people. I don't know. And then this guy's complaining. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't want to feed into the negativity. It's just a stupid video game. And I got... My ultimate goal was to get experience, and I almost got, like, 75% of a whole level, so what am I complaining about? I didn't get the gear I wanted. See, that guy's asking the question I was asking earlier. We didn't kill one of the bosses. And that's, I think, the boss that drops the mace that I want. So I get to dual wield this stinging viper mace, dude. Look at it. It's sick. It's like a... In the shape of a snake with a bunch of spikes on it. It has a chance to cause poison damage on hit. I'm a rogue, dude. I want to be dual wielding that bad boy. Ah, uh, S. Nah, you're right. Wait, what are these guys? These guys are all... Did we kill Lord Serpentis? No. Serpentis? We didn't. The guy said, ah, oh, S-H-I-T. Nah, you're right. Yeshua Christ says, yes, he's not there, I'm sure. The first loop we did, you missed some. To be honest, guys, I'm sorry. I gotta go and get ready for work. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't usually bail, but something came up. Good luck. All good. 
I'm gonna ask them. You guys... Yeah, see. See, everyone in this run was all doing what I'm doing. Dude, like, if you play WoW as much as I am, everyone's trying to get their alts and their alternative characters to level 25 before phase 2. So a lot of people, at this phase in the game, you're not really going for the best gear. Remember, because the best gear is going to essentially, most of the best gear is going to be obsolete as of Thursday. With the exception of maybe a few pieces that are that'll go far into phase two that are still like pre-biz for you. Archmagus, I'm a recent Christian convert. Last two years. Amen, brother. I think because he's undead, he's using the name blasphemously. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would assume. It's a funny joke, but spiritually it's uncool. I mean, again... I know enough of the Lord, and I do not mean this in a bragging way. I've read the Bible enough that you just don't mess with the name of Jesus. Even the name of Jesus. So keep in mind, the, the Bible says the name of Jesus is the, the name above all names. You have to really meditate on that for a second. You know, and to me, that's like Jesus is clearly the, the thing to, to honor the most. So to just name a character Jesus Christ is like, like to me it would be blasphemous. And I'm not judging anyone who names their character that either. Um, but it's just, I know I personally wouldn't do it. But I would name, like, I would name my character something sick, dude, from the Bible. Like, another character name. I guess since I was Horde, I don't see Horde as like, oh, that's not true. They actually use the word horde in the Bible, I think in Revelation, or maybe the book of Daniel. It's one of the prophecies about the end times, and it says how the nations will like rise like a horde against the nation of Israel, dude. It's sick, dude. Steffi Williams, first time chatter. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, my man? Thank you for uh, swinging by. Welcome to Real Steve TV. I'll be your host, Steve. And, uh, what brings you in to my channel this fine feather day? I gotta go turn in quests. I'm all sneaking out, all scared. See, and I don't know how many people are watching right now. We just had three viewers watching live, and now it's only showing one viewer is watching for right now, so... Sometimes this software just isn't up to date in real time, and I don't like that. All right, so I guess I'm going to just turn these quests in and call it a stream because I've got to go to Bible study tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Which is, uh, well, I still have about two hours. No, that's not true. I have less than two hours. When do I have to leave here? I have an hour and a half. So, let's see. Where do I need to go? Where's this quest? Um, I'm all discombobulated. Steefy Williams 1. Hey, I'm good, my man. How are you? Archmage, just right on, Steve. Thanks for hanging out this afternoon. You're welcome. Um, I'll, like I said, I'm going to turn these two quests in, so I'll be on for another 5-10 minutes, but yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, for something special. I'm going to have to call it, boys. And I was actually talking to the girl called M earlier on the phone, and, um, I don't really feel like going to Bible study, but I'm going to go. Steefy Williams, I'm also good. That's good, my man. What uh, brings you to Real Steve TV this fine feathered afternoon? 
By the way, how long have you been playing WoW? I've been playing WoW off and on for 19 years. Are you a fellow WoW player? Alright, let's go to Ratchet. I have a quest turn in there. Archmages, 19 years, what a journey it's been. Wow. From the days of vanilla to the cusp of Season of Discovery Phase 2, bro. What a revolutionary video game. I, I Just that it has still so much relevance in the year 2024 is crazy. I could have never have thought it would the run the, you know what I mean Blizzard has had a heck of a run man proud of them I would really like to meet the original developers and creators of this game and talk to them that would be so cool I just so many questions what's up keep it real doing have a good one keep it real cool getting closer to 22 than i thought so that's good considering we didn't really clear that whole dungeon properly that's a thing too modern day gamers they just want everything to be instantaneous money, with, which is corny especially in this game especially in this game Archmages, I'm happy I came back in Shadowlands because had I come back any earlier, I feel like I would have not had the same experience. Everything about the end of Shadowlands and the beginning of Dragonflight was perfect for getting a returning player back into the game. Cool. See, I'm a little jealous of like um, people like you who've experienced retail. I haven't even really messed around with retail. And, uh... I'm just so committed to classic and season of discovery. I really don't have much more time than that. But it's like, again, all the years of my life that I wasted through like addiction and partying. Like I, back then I didn't have time for WoW, a game that I loved. Um, so I missed out on a lot of milestones in the history of this game, which I'm like a little, no, no big deal really. It's just a video game, but. I, I love WoW, as you all know. Just passionate about a game. I didn't I didn't even think a game was capable of doing that. And again, it's really hard to explain to a non gamer or to even a gamer who doesn't play WoW. It's really hard to like explain the passion and love players have for this game. Especially an old school noob with a new school twist. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I finally hit 50 follower, Twitch followers. I'm at 53, actually. I had a little burst or surge the last few days, which I'm stoked on. So I hit that goal. Now, the only thing I need to hit is an average of three viewers uh, a stream in, in a 30-day, in, a 30 in the previous 30-day window, basically. So they calculate going back 30 days and I need to average three live viewers a stream consistently, which that's probably gonna still take another, I could see another month or two of grinding. But I'm happy to say like most streams nowadays, I have two or three people. Well, I still have a stream once in a while where there's no one, so that brings the average down. Um, but I usually have one, two, three people a stream. Zombie Adam, congratulations. Thank you, sir, so much. It's been, I mean, it's been hard, but not as hard as I thought either. You know, um, just averaging that 3.0 in the last 30-day window is going to be a little tough. But I'm closer than I was, you know. I started with, like, 
pretty much zero viewers when I started, so I'm at 53. That's that that went like faster than I thought in a lot of ways. Archmagus redid the menus, redid the talents, added roadmap for the future. Blizzard started caring about the game again, and it shows. Coincidence that that's about the time Chris Messon has come back. Had I come back even just earlier in Shadowlands, I think I would have felt like Blizzard didn't care about the game. Things have changed. Also, grats on 50 followers. Thank you, sir. Archmagus at Steefy Williams. Hey, are you a graphic artist who is looking to show your art, and are you trying to get Steve's Discord? <laughs> Steefy Williams, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Um, I'll leave it at that, dude. That's that's a good one. We're getting graphic artist vibes over here on our end, Steefy. Prove us wrong. Do you play WoW, Steefy? Da -da 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 -da. Uh, where are you from, buddy? Tr true. Yes. I am from, buddy. Where do I... Where do I have to go? The spirit rise. And what a beautiful rise it is. Um, but yeah, Steefy, if you are a graphic artist or whatever, um, I appreciate your hustle, my man, but I'm not looking for, um, any graphic artist to design my page or anything. I'm actually an artist myself and my cousin's a graphic artist. Um, I'm very particular about my graphics and arts actually and have... I have it all designed out, road mapped out in my mind. I just don't have the... I don't want to invest in that aspect of my channel yet. Be nice, ladies and gentlemen. I'm an artist too, so I know what it is to want to make money from your art. So I can't hate on that. But I also, just to not waste either of our times, I'm not looking to hire a graphic artist. Archmagus, real Steve makes sick paintings actually. Who's Steve? <laughs> Thanks, Ark. No, that's awesome. I appreciate it. And yeah, guys, I can't wait for you to see the documentary I did. I mean, I spent a lot of energy, passion, time on that, and it's different than it's a it's a mini doc, you know, it's not me playing video games, it's a different art form altogether. But I just got to hold off on releasing it until the uh, contest deadline at least. Maybe a little longer. But the contest deadline is um, February 10th. So I can't like release it on my page yet in until then. And like I said, maybe even longer depending on, you know, if I get a... I don't know if they're going to respond or not. Even if you don't win or make it, I don't know if I'm going to get notification that I didn't win. So I'll probably give it a few days after the 10th. I'll probably give it a full week after the 10th. And if I haven't heard anything, I mean, at that point, it's like, well, I got to release my video, you know? Um, Archmagus, you uploaded it to YouTube. So I did, but as unlisted. So no one can view it unless I share the link with them. Um, and I've viewed it with, like, my friends and family a few times and the girl called them I sent her the link because again I know her in real life she's a very close friend and someone very special to me um so she's seen it and I don't think this would matter but I don't want them to get the video and then be like it already has you know 122 views what's going on I don't you know I want them to he said leave it unlisted implying like obviously don't show it yet because he wants to if I were to get in the top 10 he would it would debut on his channel. 
Archmages, what is the documentary about again? Sorry, I must have missed that part. No, I'm purposely keeping that from my viewers. I want it to be a surprise. So I'm not even going to say. All I can say is it's a 5 minute and 55 second documentary. Um, but yeah, I mean, I want it to be a surprise. Especially for my viewers like you, Ark, people who have been following me and know me. I think it'll be just like a cool little, I don't know, treat or anything. Something of that nature or just something different, really, I guess. it'll. Sh I'm hoping as a creator or, or an artist, like, it shows my range, you know, as a person. And you guys will honestly, like, see me in a slightly different light even by this little project. Um, that's just being honest. Archmages, I love surprises. Art Zombie Adam, I bet it's about Christianity, laugh out loud. Or maybe it's about Satanism. Real Steve TV joined a local cult. But uh, the uh, parameters for the contest were, it has to be from your community. And I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So that I can divulge. And it's still very general. And it has to be about a, an event, a situation, a person, a character in my community. It has to be um, 5 minutes and 55 seconds exactly. And the contest is the, the YouTuber is Andrew Callahan. His channel is called Channel 5 News. That's why he wants it 5 minutes and 55 seconds. Just a little nod to his number. Um, he's going to pick the top 10 best ones. He's going to give 100% of the proceeds to those content creators from any money that those videos make. So he's not keeping money from those 10 videos. He's just going to give it to the creator. So even if that happened for me, that would be huge, guys. I would get paid for that project. And then I would, obviously, good chance that I would hit all my YouTube goals overnight because of the exposure. You know what I mean? He has 2.5 million followers. And one of his last videos had like 1.4 million views. So imagine that in itself would be amazing for me. Then he's going to have the internet vote for what their favorite of the 10 are. And then he said he's going to hire somebody. And he said he's not necessarily going to hire the person who gets the most votes from the internet. Um, Archmages, Dark Steve TV. Well, I'm excited for this, Steve. This is awesome news. I'm happy for you. I am too. Thank you. Um, and I'm at that stage of like, you know, basically not wanting to get my hopes up because my imagination and my brain and my dreams just start thinking of the best case scenario. And like, you know, I dream about winning and, and it changing my life or leading to something new, whatever. But he wasn't very specific. And all he said is, you know, if you won, you would be a correspondent for him. So I'm assuming, and I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that he would just send you out on missions and projects to do documentaries for his channel, but then pay you. He said he would pay a salary. He said this. You can see it on the Internet. He said he would pay a salary. He said he hasn't decided what the, the salary will be yet, but he's still working on that. Uh, Ellie Sperio one Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Um... I'll just save you some time. If you're a graphic artist trying to sell your graphic arts, uh, I'm not looking to buy right now, but I appreciate your hustle. And if you're just a, f a viewer and follower of Real Steve TV, welcome. I'm Steve. I'm going to be your host. Archmages, you do it for the love of the craft, sir. I'll pray for you and your success, brother. You deserve it. Thank you so much. And I've been, I told the guys in my Bible study this. I told my friends... And family members who are believers just pray and I prayed for this last week on one of my videos I uploaded the video where I prayed for my viewers I pray for the same thing or ask that you guys pray for me for the same thing I just pray God's will to be done in my life and this goes back to what I was saying earlier in the stream about trying to like learn how to roll with the punches more you know what I mean um I've been so rigid most of my life and then I'd get my mind fixated on like how things are going to go. And now after 42 years of experience of living, it's like, A, there's nothing wrong with having dreams, goals, and plans. 
but so many times than not those dreams or plan don't go exactly according to what you assume they would and it's been really freeing to not live that way so much i still struggle with it so this is a great area for me to practice that you know i want to win the competition i want to get paid to make documentaries for that guy's channel i want my channel to blow up because of the exposure i would get from him but it's a one in a million shot probably it's like winning the lottery kind of i'm sure the odds are low that he'll even pick my video out of the of the 10 but it could happen and that's why i did it you will it's just like what i say about rolling on loot you can't win the loot unless you roll on it well i can't win the contest unless i roll on it you know ellie sip Ellie Sperry, hope you're having an amazing day, and so do I and my viewers. Hope you are having one as well. Archmagus, God takes us where we belong. He puts us where we need to be. Put, but God put those dreams in your heart for a reason, and these talents too. He wants you to do this, but he also wants you to work for it. God is great. Thank you, Ark. That's those words are like more lessons that I've been learning throughout my life, especially now in my older age at 42. Like I've struggled with all those things of like wanting it to do it my way and disregarding God and in, in his, his way. And it's just been a fruitless experience, you know, and <clears throat> even if this thing doesn't happen and I don't make it in the top 10 and I don't win and I don't get hired, it wasn't like for nothing, you know, and only God knows why. And my faith is getting stronger that, yes, I'll be disappointed, but guess what? I'll just keep rolling and doing what I've been doing and making content for my page and keeping my eyes peeled for new opportunities. Um. Let's go throw this stuff into the AH, which I was already on. What are we doing here, people? Actually, man. Dude, people aren't... I, Dude, stuff ain't selling in the AH like it was. People are saving up their money for Phase 2. I've been expecting you. Ooh. Dude. I'm just, I guess I'm going to call it. I'm actually not going to vend this. We shall meet again. Not yet. I'm good. That's what I love about my rogue compared to my hunter, dude. There's way less maintenance on a rogue. I don't have to worry about ammo. I don't have to worry about mana. I don't have to worry about... Well, that's basically it, but... <clears throat> I don't use as much food. Like, everything about it is sweet. Oh, wait. I know what I need to do. I need to make stuff to share... Actually, I'm too tired to make decisions right now. Well, guys, you've been watching Real Steve TV. That was uh, an hour and 49-minute stream. I can't express to you guys enough how much it means to me that you guys come and watch me, all of you, including the girl called M. I'm blessed that I have friends that come and watch me and, and take time out of their lives to support me. I'm blessed that I have IRL friends that tell me like, hey, I just put your channel on and sometimes I'm not even watching, but I just put it on to help with your numbers. So thank you guys. Archmagus, one of my first supporters. Dude, I love you, man. Zombie Adam, a newer supporter, but he pops in and supports me. Zombie Adam in the chat. God bless Steve. God bless you too, Zombie Adam. God bless all you guys. Um, you know, jokes aside getting gear aside it's all about god it's all about seeking the truth it's all about confronting the demons and the problems we have in our lives so that we can put ourselves in a place to be useful for others our society has become sick selfish obsessed with power greed money and that is completely opposite to the will of god 
remember Jesus came and he was ultimately a servant um, and our society and our own sin just fights against that we all want to be number one in the king and have the most money and be the best at wow and have the best cush job and blah 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 but it ain't about that and there's nothing wrong with that either if that happens for you and you reach your goals there's nothing wrong with that but it's a it's a priority issue in your heart deep in this one your priorities have to be right in here and then all the external comes second what does jesus say he says seek ye first the kingdom of god and then all these other things will fall into place your shelter your clothing your food you know all the physical things fall into place when you get those priorities right you know again something to meditate on like what do you mean lord seek ye first the kingdom of god that's that's what it is dude seek those things first all this other stuff god's like D i could give you a million dollars tomorrow if i wanted i could give you a promotion at work tomorrow if i wanted you know what i mean the bible says he gives and takes away um okay enough of i'll stop rambling archmages with the five purple hearts in the chat and put god first place and you'll be seen through any winter right and we know the storms of life come, guys. We have our ups and downs. We have our good runs and we have our bad runs. And uh, we got to fight through them all, both good and bad. And, and keep our eyes on the prize and keep our priorities right. You know, God first, family second, uh, career or your hobbies third. I, I really truly believe that. You know what I mean? God number one, family number two career and whatever you're pursuing you know professionally or as a hobby or your passion and number three and those that that'll that's a really good way, general way to base everything all right guys i've talked enough again thank you for watching real steve tv i think i'll be on tonight dude probably later after bible study because i gotta keep getting these bars i want to run wailing caverns again to try to get the mace and the cape and i want really want to get this tuned to level 25 You've been watching Real Steve TV. Peace.